Good evening, or morning, or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Zeus, and today I have something a little different. Ari and I here, at Casually Smart, we play games. This channel is based on gaming, and we wouldn't be here if we didn't find games interesting. I don't really have any gameplay for you guys. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have a little. But my topic today is about gaming, and more specifically, the creation of a game. Whether it be Call of Duty or Pac-Man, game designers have had to sit down and come up with an idea, design how it's going to work, design the maps, the rules, the entities within the game, everything. Michael Cook, a PhD candidate at Imperial College, is currently doing some research on how software can intelligently design a video game and has created Angelina, which stands for a novel game evolving labyrinth I've named Angelina, which stands for a novel you get the picture. Here's an example of how it works. This was Michael's own example, so credit goes to him for this. Let's say you want to bake a cake. You know that it needs flour, eggs and milk. However, you don't know how much of each it needs, so you randomly assign quantities to it. So for example, we'll try 500 grams of flour, 25 eggs and 3 milliliters of milk. Now I know this that this probably isn't going to work, but we'll try it anyway. Now, I'm not just going to do this once either, I'll do it 400 times with random numbers so that each recipe is different. Now that I have the results of all of these experiments, I'm going to take the best 10 and change the quantities that they have very slightly and again repeat this 400 times again and so we should have a batch of 400 better cakes. They might not be good, but they'll definitely be better. After a few generations of cake making, we should have the recipe for a pretty damn good cake. Angelina works on a very similar principle, but instead of flour, eggs and milk, it uses maps, layouts and rule sets. With respect to a platform game like the one you can see on the screen now, maps will determine if a map created is possible and whether or not you need power-ups to pass it. So for example, do you need a power-up that will let you jump higher to actually pass it? Layouts determine the layout of the enemies the power-ups, your own character for example, and rule sets determine the way everything interacts. So if you hit an enemy, do you fly in the air, do you get pushed to the side, if so, how far, etc, etc. Angelina will then make the game, and using simulation, decide whether or not the game is actually playable and how fun it is. That's insane. It'll take the best ones and then churn out the best game it can. With respect to a, a 2D platform game, Angelina, in her process of deciding if a game is fun or not, will look at the layout of the map. The best games require the player to collect power-ups to enable them to get to the higher parts of the map, and eventually reach the exit. This forces you to explore the entire map, and as we know, exploration is a fun, so therefore, we have a fun game. Going back to rule sets, Angelina will define the rules in the game. So what affects what, what the effect is, when it's triggered, how many times to trigger it. She can also define how many rules that the game actually has. Pac-Man, for example, only has three rules. A game making a map isn't new, as we've seen in Minecraft or Terraria. When you first load it up, it'll create the world. It has some other rules to it, but essentially, it's completely random. What makes Angelina different from this is that she will take the tiles created by a human, or in this case, Michael Cook, and we'll look at the mechanics of the game itself and create a map based on that, very similar to how a human would. So you wouldn't just randomly place tiles here and there, you'd actually look at whether the, whether the map would be good, whether it's possible, flow, symmetry, etc, etc. She knows what a bad map and a good map is and will carry on learning about the best combination to create an even better map. Angelina is based on evolution-based AI. There are a number of other research projects out there on designing game levels, but Angelina is about making a map with respect to the game mechanics involved. That is something that human game designers have to tackle and should a revolutionary piece of software like this aid to the solution of this problem, then games in the future should have a lot more fun and amazing levels of mechanics. The game that was being played earlier in the video is actually a game created by Angelina, so the links to all those will be in the description and you can also contact Michael through that. Otherwise, you can just Google Games by Angelina. Other than that, I want to say thank you to Michael 
who has given me all the information on this to clarify what Angelina actually is and to make sure I can actually give you guys an, a, an, a correct interpretation of what Angelina is and otherwise I, I find this completely amazing I'm actually starting to wonder if I want to if this is what I want to do later in life compared to just programming but I still have that time otherwise thank you for watching I've been Zeus and I shall see you all in the next one